bank.co.uk and today I'm going to answer the question which is what is a septic tank and soak away so I suppose I'm going to start by answering the question did you know that every septic tank needs a soak away and the soak away is one of the most important components of the septic tank system so let's just start off by saying that all houses produce wastewater and wastewater comprises of bath water toilet water sink water shower water washing machine water dish water dishwashing uh, water etc and towns and cities they all discharge into what you can see here into a main sewer so that's why many people don't know what a septic tank and soak away are is because if they're connected to the main sewer then it's a problem they never really have to contemplate or think about but here's some images of a main sewer so if if you live in london or canterbury or you live in a town or a city all your wastewater goes into a place like this okay and then from there it ends up in a treatment plant you've probably seen one of these um, somewhere in your town or on the edge of a city. This is a wastewater treatment plant. So all the wastewater ends up in one of these and they treat it and they turn it basically into, into clean water that can be recycled, um, that we can drink again. All right. So that's the normal um, common uh, thing for wastewater once it's been discharged from a property. Now, with a property that doesn't isn't connected to the main drainage, okay? It needs to go into what's called a septic tank and soak away. So what is a septic tank and soak away? Well, let me show you. All right, so here's a typical house in the countryside. And uh, let me just remove the grass cover here. There we go. So here is a typical, um, illustration or image of a septic tank and soak away so the septic tank basically is a large holding tank buried under the ground all right and you'll notice that it's got an inlet pipe and it's got an outlet pipe so that's the septic tank there now septic tanks come in many shapes and sizes okay but i'm going to talk about that in a minute and this other component here this is the soak away and the soak away is a drainage field and it's also known as um, a leach field well it's got three names really it can be called a soak away it can be called a leach field or a drainage field and soak aways come in many shapes and sizes and the size of the soak away can depend on the number of occupants in the house or it's based on the number of bedrooms of a property. And also septic tanks also come in, in many shapes and sizes. And again, the size of the septic tank depends on the number of occupants of the house or the number of bedrooms. So how does a septic tank and soak away work? Well, let me show you. All right, so there's the house there. So imagine all the wastewater, so all the water from your shower, from your washing machine, from your bidet, from your sink, your wash, uh, from your dishwasher, etc. It'll all leave the property, all right? And it will go, its first port of call is that it'll end up in the septic tank here. So let me just take a half and fill it up with some water for you. All right, so there you go. Okay, let me just take the lid off there. There we go, all right. So, that typically is what the septic tank will look like once it's full of water. So all the wastewater comes from the property and is discharged into this large underground tank called a septic tank. Now, once it's done that, the wastewater then reaches a particular height. So in this instance, this is the height. And from there, after it's filled up, it will then seep away or discharge into the soak away. So here's the soak away here. And the water will make its way down through the soak away pipes there. And it will enter the soak away pipes here. So let me show you what that looks like here. 
There we go. So that's what it looks like. So the water leaves the septic tank, makes its way through the outlet pipe and ends up in the soak away here. And from there, as you can see, the soak away pipes are actually placed on top of gravel. So from there, the actual water will then soak away into the gravel and then into the surrounding soil. So here's the soil. So it'll seep into the soil. It'll go down into the gravel. It'll go sideways. So it'll cover all those different sides and just soak away and percolate back into the soil. And as the wastewater percolates and makes its way through the soil, in time, the microbes and the bacteria bacteria in the soil will treat it and clean it because that water will eventually end up in the streams, in the rivers and back in the sea again. And then the whole process will start again. OK, so that is basically how a septic tank and soak away works. So I just wanted to keep it really simple and basic there. Now, many people um, <laughs> are um, if they've never heard of a septic tank and soak away before or they move into a property that needs to have a septic tank or soak away installed it can seem like um, oh, a, a, a big obstacle a big hurdle but I've tried to make it really simple because what um, I came up with was something called a septic tank and soak away kit, and here is one here. So if you, you're moving into a house that your septic tank and soak away needs replacing, or you need to put a new septic tank and soak away in, and you're having to search the internet, trawling the internet, and you've seen hundreds of different septic tanks, different colors, different size. You know, it can real, you know, stress people out, you know, uh, because they wonder what size tank do they need, um, what capacity do they do they need, et cetera, et cetera? What soak away do they need to connect to it? How far do they need to connect the soak away to it? But I've made it really easy. Under here, you can see it's a septic tank and soak away kit there. And if you click that, I've made it really simple. I've made the septic tank and soak away kits, designed them. So according to the number of bedrooms your property has got. So for example, that's one to two bedroom, that's three to four, five to six, seven to eight bedrooms, etc. So if I just click on there, let me show you now what it costs for a complete septic tank and soak away kit. It's 1499. Two or three years ago to put your own septic tank and soak away in would have cost you five, six, seven thousand quid. But now you can get it like for 1499 and the septic tank soak away kits they comprise of, um, they're really easy to install, by the way. You, you get all the pipe work with it. You get uh, 15 meters of underground pipe. You get an inspection chamber. You get a low profile, shallow dig septic tank. So these are, I suppose, where um, septic tanks are today. Before they used to be these big old onion shaped septic tanks or big old concrete tanks. And, um, Oh, they took massive holes and loads of concrete to, to put them in or to construct them. Whereas now science has moved on so much. This is like space age technology now. These are like little lunar modules. And so these are shallow dig septic tanks that take about 40 minutes to install, to dig the hole and put them in. And they don't need concreting. So on the septic tank soak away kit, you get one of those. And in this particular one, you get the septic tank soak away crate. So Again, the soak away, the hole for the soak away literally is about a foot, a foot and a half below the surface. So, so there you go. So I thought I would just share with you what a septic tank and soak away um, are and basically how they work. And so there you go. So thank you very much for uh, watching my video today. Um, and I will speak to you later.